Yeah. You gotta work. You gotta work. Grind, shine, it's mine. Gotta show everybody it's my time. Get in here, you gotta work. Grind, shine, never mind who talking down, cause they lie. Don't talk, you gotta work. Let the conversation begin. This is Let's Talk with your host, Carl Lee. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Carl Lee, and I'm your host of Let's Talk. Let's Talk is a deep dive into sports, culture, and social issues and how they connect and shape today's society. And when you start talking about shape today's society, one of one of the issues that I think we have here in West Virginia is, is, is our sports. And right now it's football. Yeah. Right now it's transfers. <laughs> and... Today, we're going to try to kind of tackle some of this. And then on the second half of the show, um, I'm going to address some of the some of the comments, some of the bad comments, <laughs> some of the good comments, and kind of give you my view or my response to your your uh, comments on Hollis's Facebook Live. Um, but I do want to say something before – before we get started, there were a group of young men that were on Facebook Live just maybe a, sometime last week. Yeah. And I was able to listen to that. And I thought it was really, really impactful. And I think that was there was knowledge there that mattered. Yeah. And so from me to them, I think you did a great job in spite of a host of those folks being negative toward me and, yeah. and, and for whatever the reason, my comments, but I wanted to, I want to tip my hat to them because I think that was information that was very valuable and important for a lot of people um, to understand. So I've got two guests here that really do not need introductions, but I'll let them introduce themselves and, and we'll jump right in. Hollis Lewis. What he would draw. All right. Thanks for having me back. I ain't know I was invited back, man. Hey, it got it got heated well, last time I was here. And you know what, Hollis? Here, here here's the thing. I don't invite him and he jumps on the show. <laughs> I invite him and then next thing I know, he's like, oh, I didn't know I was supposed to be on. I don't know how that's working. Yeah. You know? So what a crazy, what a crazy Friday night. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know what to say, but I will do this. When you, to a school that understands the, the qualifications of rankings and all of that kind of stuff, it's about how many points you score and all that kind of stuff. When you, when you take and take kneels, you kneel down, mm -hmm. get a penalty. In light of running a play, that is someone who, that is a coach, that is an organization that in my mind is very classy and respectful to the young kids that they know they're playing against. Yeah. Now. Uh-oh, here it comes. Guys. Now. Uh -oh. The flip side of that is. If you decide because the points are going to matter where you rank, but that's not true. That's yeah, not how they it works. changed that this year. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 the the case was made mm -hmm. that the, we needed more points because. Well, look, look, okay. Look, well, let me okay. just say this then. Right. Okay, so if you saying that that changed, yeah, it changed. Yeah, it changed. Okay, then that makes the case even worse. worse. Yeah, no question. Well, well hold on. Let, let no, me, I, okay. I'm gonna finish. Okay, no, I, I, finish. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna finish this because. Because <laughs> I do not care who you are, mm -hmm. what, you're, what you're going for. For you not to take and change the time, allow the officials to go to six minutes, running clock, yeah. after a certain – what the score is at a certain point, and you say, no, you do not want to do that – you have to explain to me why you why you're doing okay. that. Here, here's the information that I got. Okay, please okay, help so me here's out. Here's the information. Point one is that 
that the teams that we're talking about, obviously the team who lost, they did not have a JV program. So the other school who actually who won, they wouldn't be able to play a JV game today. So they basically wanted to, to keep the clock rolling and or excuse me, keep the clock at this regular time periods in order to get those people in who would have been playing JV, who wouldn't have been playing today because that team does not have a JV. So that was the the first thing that I got. The what second school? thing What school? Well, Hurricane. We're Hurricane. talking about Hurricane Capital. No, Hurricane. that's not no, true. No, no, no. Well, hold on. That's just I'm telling you the information that I got. I'm not trying to say right or wrong. I'm just relaying Sound like information. It. I'm, like no, it. I'm relaying the okay. information. Okay. They didn't have a – Capital doesn't have a JV team. Okay. So Hurricane wanted an opportunity to play their guys. He, they wanted an opportunity to continue to play some of their even starters because they know it has the season go on, they're not going to get a lot of quarters. So they needed to, that reps. So that's point one. Point two is that I, from what I understand, again, I don't know. I'm just telling you what was relayed to me. I want to make that clear. I don't – I'm telling you what was relayed to me, that – as far as the clock is concerned, the coaches, they knew that ahead of time, that the clock, he wasn't going to change the clock. So as far as the score running up, that wasn't purposeful. And basically what happened, again, was that you had – obviously in games like this, you're going to have scoring on offense, defense, special teams, and different things of that nature. So that was what would relate to me. All right, so let's say the truth. I don't know who told you that. The truth is – Coach Mason went to the referee in the second quarter, about three minutes left. It's like, yo, ask Coach Mays, do he want to run the clock? I mean, it was 65 nothing at, yeah. at that point. And most coaches would have said, we're running the clock second half. We're going to shorten it. They He's, did it at South Charleston. I mean, yeah. and most 90% of coaches would say, uh, yes. I mean, it's you can – injury, all kind of stuff can happen. You, you're start. He yeah. had his QB1 in there to – the middle of the third quarter. So about playing reserves, I don't know if QB Again, one that, didn't have a backup. I also made that point where he was saying that he wanted to get those guys some reps. Too. Oh, that's what. Yeah, and he so, said he told he yeah. told Coach Mason that I got to get ready for GW. Yeah, and any coach, I mean, well, let's let's Capitals not at its best. Capitals playing ninth and tenth graders. You got an all star team. I'm talking about the best team, the best talent in the state, hands down. Hurricane had the best talent in the state. Mm-hmm. Me personally. I think he kept them kids on the field because he regularly don't beat Capital. I think Carpenter record is him eleven and one or eleven and two versus each other. And this podcast, he was peed off about the podcast. When, <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna be straight up honest. Hey, hey we can't so, blame us for that now. Come on, boy. Yes, they're already blaming us for the whole conversation. You can't blame us for that. <laughs> I think it's a point that he was like, "Yo, we about to run it up on him." And I think that was just some. I don't think. Okay. I don't think as a career athlete, okay, not a businessman, not a coach, nothing. But as a career athlete, don't put me in front of somebody who isn't talent, it doesn't match my talent. I'm not interested in that. I'm playing on, if I'm playing on Sunday, I want Rice. I don't care if he blows me up. I'd rather have him blow me up than I would somebody who nobody knows the name. Yeah, but you got to play who in front of you too. Yes, you, you mean, do. You, you don't get yes, that you do. Choice, but but in high school, in high school, we've basically taken the competition out of it. We just made it with a few teams because of the talent that's there. We've mm-hmm. just created a situation that all these certain teams are going to have all this talent. And we and and you and you simply strip these other teams of their best players. So now they're playing young players. Does it matter to you? Is it more important to you that you get more points than the future of the young athletes on the other team or the safety of the other team? Again. Is there any is there any thought process of the safety involved in the other and shame on shame on those who made this happen. Okay? But to the coaches, to the mm-hmm. team, when you beat a team like that and you don't want to rush the clock because it's better for you because you need more practice, blah, 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 you don't have a JV team, whatever, whatever excuse you use, this team over here has to rebound from this loss. Yeah. I went to the South Charleston game. Mm-hmm. Some of the kids who I had coached, 
I was happy. They came up to me, gave me hugs. Some of them had tears in their eyes. I talked to a young man, had tears in his eyes coming off the field because of a loss. That usually doesn't happen, Hollis, unless it's a big game. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a playoff game, championship game. These kids, you're crushing these kids who – have yet to learn the have yet to learn the idea of what sports okay, is about. But let me let me ask you this though, because you on this podcast you said this repeatedly. Like sports is about lessons. Sports is about teaching. Sports is about more than just the points Absolutely. of the game on the field. Absolutely. So I, again, I'm not justified, but what I am saying is that you do get lessons from these losses as well. Is that not true? There's a point. Ninety two seven. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm that, making yeah. a point. You, you get that, lessons. From that's that like too. that's it's like, like okay, winning so. And losing. Okay, so to your point, yeah. I do something wrong at home, mm-hmm. and my mom spanks me. That spanking is enough. Yeah. But if she's going to spank me, dad's going to spank me, my oldest sister's going to spank me, my uh, next sister's going to spank me, when is it enough for me? Because, <laughs> come on, coaches know. I, I, for all the people out there saying that I don't, I can't coach – what I can tell you about being coached, I don't know. I've never had a coach that would do anything like that. I don't think we'll see it again either. I really don't think we'll see this again either, Coach. Um, it was a personal. I mean, he, I mean. So you're saying it's personal? One hundred percent. One hundred. He wouldn't have did that to Riverside. He wouldn't have did that to South Charleston. He wouldn't have did that to uh, St. Albans. He did that to Capitol High School. Because it's Capital High School, and then let's 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 take the let's take the coaching and the players all out of it. Okay. Man to man, Coach Mason went man to man, kind of like I'm throwing up the white towel. You got yes. it, bro. Yes, you got yes. man to man. Take the coach out of it. Okay. Man to man, you beating me up, dog. You you. I give up. I, you got me. Yeah. And you still keeping QB one in to the middle of the third quarter? And you want the full time of the clock? You got a whole week of practice coming. But your second stream is better than Capital First Stream, so go to practice and play against your second stream D okay, again, and get the work. I, I gotta make I, you know, I have to make the, the counter argument here. Okay. So, okay, so I'm you saying? made the counter yeah, argument. Now I'm going I'm gonna put you on record. I know. I ain't going on record. You I'm just making the counter. I gotta be you on you know what do you think about that situation? The fact that the fact that they did not allow the clock to run, you, the justification, true or not, okay. JV is in the game. Mm-hmm. They wasn't though. But and but After yet the they're still they're still beating this team yeah. up already. Yeah. Do you think that is a coach? Is that that was the right coach's decision? I think again. If don't politic me. No, don't <laughs> politic me. Don't politic me. Don't give me no yes, but in case of and blah, 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 blah. Give me what is you. Coach, no, I want well. you. I don't want politics. <laughs> yeah. I don't want no politics in this. This is just straight dog right here. That's straight. Listen, I want to get my JV in there. If I feel like I need to get you ain't guys giving ready, me nothing. If I if, you ain't if, giving if, me if nothing. I need to get guys you ready, ain't giving me nothing. I want to stay in there. However, I would have, I would have, I'm telling you me personally. I would have took the clock recommendation, so if the clock got to get lower, it's rolling. I would have okay, acquiesced then say to then, that. Then, okay, but then I would have kept my JV in, and I'm going to play. Would say that? Would yes. So yeah. all what I what I what I'm hearing him yeah. trying to finagle around. No, I, he I, would I know. Ch- he would have taken the clock. I taken the clock, but you I'm would have taken I'm the clock. my JV in on my third and fourth strings, and we're going to continue to play because I need to get them some reps if they're not going to play today. Okay, I, I would have done. Wait, how, how soon would you have taken your quarterback out? Because in some cases he could he could have got hurt. Well, not I'm, maybe I'm even a quarterback, so my quarterback probably would have been out maybe in the middle of the second. <laughs> right, and, and, and yeah. what was told, and and this is not allegedly what is told. What was told to the coach, he was like, "Well, I got to see something. I'm just gonna let Jakai play. I think that's how you pronounce it. Long play, one possession in the second half." And that's but, and that's the normal and that's and but it didn't happen. You know that, that's, that's normal. normal. I get it. That's normal. But that yeah. didn't happen. Not only are you kicking oh, you me, say he didn't play. 
He, he played about four or five possessions. He played to the middle of the third quarter. He played oh, more okay. than one possession. Okay, okay. First of all, you you didn't take my white my white towel, which that's a disrespect yeah. to me as a man. And my team. And my team. And my yeah. school. And my program. And every, all my fans. Uh, you, secondly, you're going to say you're going to leave QB in, QB1 in for one possession. He played four. But let's not act like this don't this, – this happens. So this ain't the first time it happened. This ain't going to be like, now again, how it happened, we can all be angry and we can all have a point about that. But these things happen. Capital B but, but teams by that much before. What's interesting GW, to me, what's interesting to me to though, when you say these things happen. They, ha- they happen. I buy that they happen. Yeah. But why do they keep happening at the same place? Why do we end up there? Why do we keep ending up there? Why do we keep uh, saying that this is what somebody did that's from there? Why is that happening? I can't speak on that. I'm just you saying. Don't, you can't? No, I can't speak oh. on that. Because when uh, I coach, we wouldn't be teams like that personally. No. But what I'm saying that, is that these things happen, and it may be your year to take it. It may be your year to take it. So it's going to happen to you eventually. It happened to us in state, Western Carolina. They beat us by 70 points. So these things are going to happen to you. If you coach long enough, you play long enough. Now, the thing, you just got to fight through it and move on. It's not going to be easy. It's, it's ugly. It's hard to deal with, but you got to deal with it and move on. This is, but see, you talked about Western Carolina. Yeah, that's college. I understand. I'm I, just no, saying, no, no, I'm I know. Just I know. I know. Yeah. I know. But see, where what has happened? What has happened is is that see, if if you if you are if you are a hurricane athlete, you're buying into the idea of, okay. Scouts are going to come here because because there's a coach here that's going to be winning and 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 we're winning and we're ranked and we're we're all that we've got and it's other players we, we, getting we got players yeah. here mm-hmm. okay so they're so they're so excited about the potential of that but there's a there's a saying that God don't like ugly <laughs> I want to ask, yeah. I got, you know, and 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 look, I got some ugly in me. Yeah, I, I, I've done some ugly stuff myself. Sure. But I, but I'm telling you, <laughs> in sports, it is not just about you as the coach. If you're trying to get ranked because of this or that at the expense of... See, I think we're going to motives, and I think that's moving too far. I just think it was his year this year, and it's going to be Coach Mason and Capitals' year in the, come, in the future. But, They're going to have the time. No, no, no. Here's, what, what, no, here's what you're doing. Here's yeah. what you're doing. You are destroying, you are, you are destroying these young, yeah, talented yeah. players. Look. Are we destroying them? Absolutely. When, these, kids, these kids lost for me. Okay, they lost for me. Some of these kids I, that I saw, I saw, mm-hmm. that came up to me, gave me a hug, which I don't even know if I was due that hug, but right. I do appreciate it. But I'm looking at these young men crying. Okay, right. not because they lost. We lost a whole bunch of times last year. Yeah. They're, the most disappointing thing that they had, they had one drive coming in to go in to score. Mm-hmm. They fumbled the ball, and that was like they lost the game-winning play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because all they wanted to do was to drive down the field, get in the end zone, because mm-hmm. a, a touchdown would have been something special for them as a team. Yeah. See, that's what that's what the other coach ought to be able to sit on the sideline and recognize. But sometimes you enter your thing. You are te- you're coaching that's your selfish. team. You're not necessarily that's thinking outside that's selfish. that box. That's selfish. You know, now, we can turn sports into being selfish if we want and, and blame it on, oh, it's mm-hmm. talent. But I saw a team. I saw a team show me class. Okay. I saw what class looks yeah. like. They, you think they weren't worried about the playoffs? See, I you know, I, so you, the rankings, talking, I know you're saying that it yeah, don't yeah, matter anymore, yeah, but you, you think that matter? So you're talking about Huntington now, yes. right? Okay, because yes. we want to keep the count because some people, you're talking about Huntington versus South Charleston. Yes. Yeah. yes. Um, I think Huntington pulled their players in the first half, so maybe the first quarter. Yeah, and yeah, went that, to the six minute. Yeah, went to the six yeah. minute, rolled the clock. See, I think what I'm saying, I think we can talk about that from that perspective. I think you can make those criticisms, but I just don't want to get into the habit of, like, we don't know what's going on in that person's head and what they're thinking. Well, I'm telling we, you, he wanted to beat Capital. It's well, okay. He got he got his off. He got his. Well, let me ask you now, this. Now, I, can I, I want to go, go to Nitro. Nitro. Okay. Nitro. 84 to 6 versus St. Albans. 
Yeah. And they kept their quarterback in yep. to the fourth quarter, yep. throwing bombs. I think he had yes. 11 touchdowns. Yes. Not taking nothing away yeah. from the quarterback. Yeah. He, uh, well, he, he, broke it. Yeah. he broke J.R. House's state record. So do you agree with this coach that leaving your QB in to break a, a record? I think that's really bad. What if he got hurt? Yeah. What if What if he broke an ankle? What if he broke an arm? Yeah, that's the only part. I'm see, a QB. See, I'm taking mine out. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just going to get my boy out of there. But you're going after a record that you ha- you got a team that you're just destroying, that can't match you, and you go out and throw 11 touchdowns, and you get the record. Wow. No, Again, you can't say that, Coach. I can't. It's, it's good for I him. Can't. It's good for him. But you can't say that on behalf. It is he good might, for He might have wanted that. It, good. So I can't, it is good for him. As a coach, you got to say, man, we're not throwing this ball no, no more. Yeah, you, I, no, I understand game. that. And I, like I said, if I'm the coach, no, we're beating that team, we're coming out of there. My quarterback's coming out. I'm happy. He got a record. Now, if that's my record that he broke. Yeah, that's a Jayhawks. If that's my record that he broke, I'm like, okay. If that's what you got to do to break it. Yeah. Now, I'm just saying. So let me ask y'all this. There was an article came out that Dana Fur, a delegate Dana Fur, mm-hmm. I don't know if he wrote it, but he was featured in the article. And basically, he was making his case as to why this rule should be reversed. So I'm going to ask you to do we think next year in this new session, 2024, starts January, February, do you think the legislature is going to reverse that yep. rule? Yep. 100%. Yeah. Okay, Cause, cause how, you know how, how are they going to reverse it? Are they, they going to do a reversal like it's going to go back to the old way or there's going to be amended? Because what I think is going to happen, I think it's going to stay how it is, but I think they're going to keep it in county. So when you transfer, you got to transfer in county. That ain't going to ha- that, 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 that really that's is not going to do – that's not going to do any better. It will as far as money uh, no, wise. No, 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 it really won't because all that's going to happen now is inside of the system, mm-hmm. inside of that group, you're still going to create these all-star teams. Yeah, I think some people want to keep it, though. I think that's going to be the balance, the happy medium. I, I don't. You think it's going to be totally reversed? I, 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 think, I think it'll be – I'm hoping that it'll be reversed. You, nobody's mm-hmm. going back to their own school. But okay. I think that at We're this talking point, about future. We're not talking about retroactive. Right. So I, I just think that you have to you, – you, you have to stop before you try to change it or limit it or – adjust it, you have to be able to really look at the consequences. Because did nobody see these consequences? No, I don't did think no, they saw and, this. And, 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 and that's the stupidity of making a decision when you don't know what the consequences are. But I, I, I think the that. legislator should have brought some coaches in, some Absolutely. Some Somebody who knew sports or something. Yeah. But, yeah. I, because but, but what the thing is, is, you got to remember, when we had Delegate Pence on the show, it wasn't necessarily... I don't think he envisioned this. This was about... If you're homeschool or you're at a private school that doesn't offer a sport, you get to go to yeah, another that, school. That, that one was there. So that, I think it started. Though. So I think it started there. I don't think this consequence is what they saw. No, they ain't see this. Ninety six. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's no competition anymore. It's, it's just. It's, and, and let me say this for people who say like, well, this again. I understand that these things have happened in um, you know isolated incidents, but I don't think we've ever seen it to this degree. So there's Never. some people who say, well, we this is the same score last year. No, not to the degree where our whole county, and again, a, ro- a football-rich county, county yeah. like Kanawha County, this has never happened to no. in this capacity. No, because this, yeah. people have come into this valley and just snatched away <laughs> snatched everybody it. that it, was bro. possibly good. <laughs> And That's what crazy. and and all that you and what you've created is for every future good kid in the valley, they're gonna leave again too. Nah, I think you'll have something that's holding it down. If if, if, if I'm gonna make the case that if nothing happens, every young kid that is good. So you say if the rule doesn't get changed. If the rule doesn't get changed. Okay. Every young kid that is the best player on their team. It's going to go somewhere else. Well, they're going to think about it. Yeah, I, Absolutely. I, I agree with you on that. Yeah. Absolutely. I and I just don't think – I just don't I, – I just don't think that sports – you don't look at sports as a as – a, as a high school sports, you don't look at it as a business because there is no transfer portal. There is no money involved in the player plan. Uh, this is, mean, I this disagree is, with that. You think it's money involved? Number one, when we talk about money, if your stands are filled every week, you are the funding source. That's as far as football, no, That's no, a school. no. I'm, I'm saying about the money. Athlete. I'm saying the athlete, and I'm, I'm, I'm bring, I'm taking it to the athlete. As far as the football, 
just concerning football and good basketball programs, you're funding all the other schools' athletic department. You're, you're the I'm funding source. I'm fully aware of that. Okay? But Second I, point is that, again, if I'm at a good school, if I'm a good player, if I'm playing next to players who have offers of getting looks, that can help me, propel me to get my college looks. So just that, like C.J. Donaldson from WVU, the running back, he was a tight end playing on the team, and his partner, his homeboy, was getting recruited. WV was recruiting more players, saw him, and brought him on. Now he just started running back. He's, now, he's a damn good running back. Dion, Dion so, uh, uh, Derek mother, she said the total opposite. She yeah. said on Facebook that when you got an all star team, scouts ain't coming because you're not playing any competition. Like when they that, score that point 96 to 3. That is true. That point could be that true. That is true. I don't disagree and we can, with that. And we, can, and we can see this. With Martinsburg, Martinsburg killed people, and they rarely – now, they last two or three years, they had a couple D1s. Yeah. Before then, I mean, their best quarterback that's playing for the Chicago Bears uh, played D2 football. Not saying yeah. nothing wrong with it, but when yeah. you're not playing the competition and you're playing second stream and third stream, you know – Freshman squads. But, if I'm a scout, I can't see nothing. But Warrensburg is playing state championships from Virginia and Maryland. Can, can, they can, play, they can, play can, two games can, like that. Can the I? Can I, can I use my expertise here? Of man, course. Man, 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 you and, ain't and, play no football. Will, will I, will, will I, can I get a chance <laughs> yeah. to get in here with some expertise? Just, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Hollis, I buy into the idea of scouts. When they come to see you, they may see me. Okay, 100%. I I get that. Okay, but the reason, assuming they haven't seen you play live, mm -hmm. which is why they're coming, because yeah. they want to see you live. They've seen the game film. Yeah, they've seen your game film, so they saw Woody playing. They saw yeah. me playing. I think the reality of what you're saying is. If they see me on film and I, I have the, all that, they see Woody, and Woody's good on the film, but he's not tall enough, he's not this or that. Just because they come see you, that ain't enough for Woody. They may come see and I fit the mold. They may, okay, yeah, he could be a D1 or D2 or D3 yeah. guy. So it, it's not just because you've got a scout coming. Because scouts come. A scout has to go to every school. That they, they're appointed an area. A region, yeah. A region. And mm -hmm. when they come to that region, they go to every high school there. Mm -hmm. Whether or not they are going to get anybody or not. Yeah. And usually the coach will tell you, you can see this guy, this guy, or this guy. Or they say they would like to see this guy or that guy. Yeah. Okay? So – be, understand this, parents. Understand this, young athletes. Just because you're playing with a kid that is awesome, you still got to fit the bill. Yeah, I mean, you got to fit the bill. No so doubt. it's not that's like no it's not like. And just because you're the second best player on the team does not mean you're going to go. Yes, but it don't hurt. Prox it, it don't, no, proximity no, success no, does not okay, hurt. Now, it don't I, hurt. Okay, I was the only draft pick out of Marshall. I was the only, if you want to consider Marshall D one back in the day. It was D one. Y'all was D one. You know, yeah. yeah. I, but but we didn't play. I mean, we wasn't winning. So, yeah. uh, I was the only player out of South Charleston High School that went to a school at a D one level. Okay. I can make the case there was a whole host of players on my football team at both places. That I thought could play, that I could even make the case. There's a guy at Marshall, Donnell Ross, was a corner who quit his senior year. Was five times better than I was, but he quit, mm -hmm. and so he misses it. See, there's a whole lot of there's background, there's your academics. There's your social. There's the parents. All these things matter to get to that next level. But to me, high school is simple. The scouts will come, and they're going to pick who they pick. Whether that's you or not, but what is, what is important is, is that you learn these lessons. Sportsmanship, all, work ethic, on time, all these kind of stuff. We're showing now disrespect. All of those negative things in sports now because of the adults in the room. 
You you I, making all these facial expressions and hand movements and all I that. Just, and I you're disagree like, with that. I think okay, we had some bad scores. We have some things that we disagree with. But I don't think we can take that in a vacuum and say, well, uh, these other lessons aren't being taught because that. I, was a I'm result. not no, because I tell you, you what, know? there was some there was some happening in 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 Huntington. They taught they they did some things. That coach did some things that proved to me that Huntington is a class A program. Yeah. All right, well, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's uh, just the scouts. One, one, hold one, on, one more. Th- just hold, just one second. We got to right. take a break, okay. and we'll be right back. Contact Carl Lee on email. Let's talk Carl Lee at gmail.com or text 409-422-7539. You're listening to Let's Talk with Carl Lee. Sponsorship opportunities are available. Email let's talk at promessage.com or call 304-342-8131. For more information, visit wchsnetwork.com slash let's talk. Now, back to the conversation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we jumped off there for a quick break, and uh, I, I know that Woody was fighting it at, at the mic, ready to have something to say. I'm uh, I'm ready for you. All right, when y'all say these scouts, when I if I'm a scout, I know who I'm coming to look for. I'm looking for a DB that's six one, Carl Lee. This is what I'm coming for. If yes, you got sir. a whole team of all star, all right, number twelve can play, but I'm not looking for a linebacker. I'm not looking for a running back. I'm not looking for this and that. So when you say a scout comes and he might can scout me, he's not scouting you. Now you, if only thing a hundred percent in life is death. You might get that one other guy that get picked up, but he's coming. To scout who that's on the board in his it, at his what school, he, what, what he's looking, looking for. for. But yeah. bro, so, we all watch film. Me, you, we watch hundreds of hours of game film, and we've all seen that one cat who pop off the film. And in those cases, I may be looking for that DB, but if I see this lineman just he stay in the backfield, what is his name? So I'm saying, to you got to give your. I'm just saying, parents, if they're that's thinking the case, they're giving Hollis, yourself an opportunity, Martinsburg will have ten. D1, D2, That's not D3. necessarily because, to Coach Lee's point, they may not fit the metric. That's what so I'm saying. That, that, you, that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They may not fit the metric. See, you're making See, your own I'm, point. No, no. What I'm saying is that if you pop off the film – and you fit the metric, just like C.J. Donaldson at WVU, I can bring you on. But see, that's what matters. That's what I'm saying. But, but you see, what you're saying I'm is saying give yourself it's, an it's, opportunity. It's not talent, though. It's it not is necessi- talent. It it's is not talent. necessarily just talent. It's not just talent. It is it, talent, it, though. And here's the thing. Not only is it not just talent, it is hand size, arm width, all this all stuff. That, that, all, all that. that. You got to have a metric. But, but, yeah. but you're acting as though these people know that. And you have the just, listeners don't know that we don't have a whole okay, lot of but people what I'm that are, saying that, though, that have what I'm saying though is that ball. if I'm a college scout, if I'm coaching at USC, this ain't the first place I coach. So even if you don't work out here, I can get, call my friend in Eastern Carolina. I can call my friend in Marshall. And say, look, he ain't gonna work out. Oh boy, ain't gonna work out here. Happens but all I the think time. I think he may be able to. Hap- happens you may be able all, to go look at this kid. All the time. So happens, what I'm saying is that what's wrong with getting yourself hap- an opportunity and being listen, proximity to success? I'm with you. That happens. That happens a all lot the of time, time, right? That you happens know that. all the time. Yes. But what you're not, what I can't get you to understand, okay? Because we're, you are right in in a degree. Mm-hmm. You're not right a hundred percent. That's Definitely where you want to be. Definitely not. But what I'm trying to get you to understand is, I don't care how good that player looks or is, he has to fit the metric. I do understand and, that. Okay, so I understand that, but. Sometimes, let's just make this case. Right now, South Charleston High School may have a ton of young athletes who may eventually fit the metrics. Yeah. But when you've got, you know, when you got Wayne Harris, okay, when you got Wayne Harris from Huntington, former South Charleston kid, you you can see that. Right, oh. you can you can just see that skill set. He need that D on his chest, like D on oh, that. Yes, <laughs> and, 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 and the only an issue that he, if somebody's going to try to make an issue yeah. about him, you could try to make the case he's too small. Yeah, that, right. Yeah, that'd be the only thing. But the difference is, is when you're too small, you have to be better. Yeah. Okay, and he's better. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know a whole lot of colleges that are going to take a kid that size unless he's a dog. Yeah. And he is a dog. Yeah. Now, I don't care about, I don't care how many players around him, mm-hmm. he's going to show up. 100%. And, and, and 
while you showed up a little bit over there, you threw a good ball, and mm-hmm. you know, and you 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 got out of that sock. You 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 extended the the, mm-hmm. the pocket and threw this touchdown. They're like, oh, okay, but mm, he's probably not going to be tall enough. That's true, but what and I think you're making my case. I'm not saying that you're going to go where he's going. All I'm saying is that if I'm throwing the ball to a kid like Wayne Harris, I may not be able to. I may not be Kent State ready. We're saying but the I'm, same. Yeah, we're, we are saying. I may be Shepard. I may be Glenville. I'm just saying if I'm in a in proximity to success, it's going to enhance my but what, opportunity. But what, to to his point, Wayne's going to go somewhere bigger, right? Mm-hmm. So I got to go to maybe. Fairmont, somewhere, you know, Shepherd, somewhere like that, which is good football. Yeah, if I got a but, full scholarship, but, that's a win. but today, but today, some of these kids don't want to play in the in the West Virginia Conference. They don't understand. I, that, that, yeah, <laughs> there you go. They don't okay, they don't it's, understand. It's really good football, which yeah. again creates a situation. Mm-hmm. Which creates the situation that is the problem. And shout out to See, my Yellow Jackets. We almost beat Moorhead. They lost by See, two I, points. Yes, I would, I would rather be a Wayne Harris on my own team than me you too. coming to look at Wayne Harris. Then you found me. No, <laughs> come and look for me. <laughs> then find somebody else. Like you come and look for the dog, not the, the not the second or third best player on the team. I want to be the best player. I'll, on my I'll team. say this for Hollis. I'll say this for Hollis. I just, if you if you see me. If you if you tap me on the shoulder and say, "Hey, young man, um, I, you know, I think you might have a future." Oh, now that that that's gonna spark me. But here's the problem: should have been already sparked. No, because if, sometimes if, if you what in you wanted to do, if don't what work. You, if you can't, okay, it's the Terrell. I give you the perfect it, example: Michael Terrell's kid played at Riverside, the really good ball player. But just because of the system and the lack of talent they had, it didn't work. He's a hurricane now. He's going to shine, and he's going to be a breakout star for them. And it's because he has an opportunity to be around more talent. So, again, unfortunately, works for some unfortunately you don't have this experience because we didn't, we didn't produce a professional athlete out of, out of state when yeah. I was coaching there. But I know personally mm-hmm. – there, and, and and you can go back and check the, the, the for for the facts on this. I, I may could, I could be wrong. That I, I could be missing somebody. But I'm thinking the number of players that have come through Marshall from the plane crash. I cannot believe in my heart of hearts. My ego won't even let me buy into this. That I was the I was the but because I was the first draft pick, I believe. That doesn't necessarily even mean anything for me as a as a as 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 a player. But when I got to Marshall, dude, I was already talking about man. I'm trying to get to Sunday. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get to Sunday. I'm wor- I'm putting time in. If you think if I could make the case, Randy Moss, Robert Alexander, Kurt Warner, if they all of a sudden decided in college that they wanted to play pro ball. <laughs> that's easy yeah. it, and I can even make the case even in high school they say you know what I think I'm going I think I'm going to play college ball right Switzer Ryan Switzer too small he ain't got this he ain't got that he can't do this and and what a, it, it, I, it, not mistaken he a college hall of famer yeah he's ball he's a dog dog he's dog all American dog too, yes yeah. a dog yeah. we don't know what it looks like Cause we don't know, we don't know what we don't know what work looks like. We think the idea of of what we think is this. We think like, okay, soon as somebody comes to talk to me, oh, now I'm gonna start working. You 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 late. I don't know. You late. These kids no, you don't. You're right. You some don't know. I take that. I take work. that as an answer. You're some right. You kids, don't. Got to get to the question. <laughs> okay, I know it in my question. realm. But right. Some of these kids are, are, are pitting in some work. Hey, 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 shout out to uh, Tr. Man, I see he he he's taking the kids and and they putting in work, bro. I don't know how he doing it, but he he got some kids out there, not just at Hurricane, man, all around the, the state that. They putting in work. Now, they That's they they, they, they put they, they putting in work. I ain't say, I, I, I think for I think I'm just I, saying what I'm general. saying is that I think a lot of us put in work physically. 
I don't think for your point, we didn't necessarily have the perspective that you had. I don't think it's a lot of, I will agree with you to this point. I don't think there's maybe a lot of kids who's thinking at eight, nine, 10 years old, having breakfast room conversations with their father about NFL. I don't think that's necessarily going on in the perspective like I could get there. If you're not you having, thinking, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that's happening, but I think kids are putting at work, but they might not have the perspective that you had. And, 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 have. and, and But see that perspective, what's critical about that perspective is that's the work ethic. That's what's going to make that's going to motivate you into the work ethic. And it's not it's not me making it is the thing. It's the work ethic that I believe that a whole host of our kids could make it if they had the work ethic. And we don't so you can't do you wait. instill that. How do you how, how do we go from here to putting that work that uh, into our kids? When you when you if you say you want something you say that I'll, some some kids just want to play college ball. Some kids just want a scholarship to college. They don't care where it is or mm-hmm. what it is. There's got to be work, whether it's be, whether it's running, lifting, everything. If that's not built in you, if you're just going to practice and showing up at practice and get done with practice, head home, do nothing else, maybe you know. And, 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 you know, maybe you're, the things that you do outside of the field, away from home, maybe those things will hinder you. Mm-hmm. You know, if you really want it, it's, a, it's available to anyone that has the specific ability to put time in for your craft. Available where though, Coach? Where is this guy at? Where can it, uh, if a young oh, man that, or that young guy, girl? That God, is, that God is in you. Uh-huh. Like, for me, 18 weeks – of working out for four weeks of camp for 16 games. That's that got me to Hawaii. Mm-hmm. If you that know got that me is, to 50 grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, so I, it got me to college. It got me out of high school. It got me free education. You know, and I've been I've been running and lifting and doing those things for as long as I could remember because I knew that I had an example. I had a Robert Alexander example. That's where I'm getting to. What yeah, okay. he, he, he showed me the work that was required gotcha. even before he got there. He got the WVU and I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get to a school. Yeah. You know, so he taught me, he showed me, but some of these people out here, they're talking about getting somewhere and they don't know the work that's got to be put in. So do you think you, uh, you could bring somebody on this show? Now you did it. You bring somebody on the show and say, Hey man, if y'all really want to go, you really want that dog in your chest, it, here's the, the the street or the path that you can take, like waking up at 5 in the morning running. Some kids don't know that. Some kids, all they know is going to practice, and they think they're, all right, I went to practice, man. I practice hard. I, I, I work. But it takes more than just those three hours of practice. It takes there, more right? than practice unless you're exceptional. And if you're exceptional, you know it. And when you know, and this is exceptional, when the when – the, Whole world knows about you. Mm-hmm. The whole yeah. United States knows about you. All right, let's get to some of these questions. All you, right, you ready? Okay. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna, and again, if y'all got questions, you need to ask them so I can ask them live. So if you listen, to talking me, to that microphone, man. Oh, my fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you got questions, make sure you put them on the uh, on the feed. So I'm gonna start with some of the older questions. Here we go. Okay. Let the music change, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So and this is a uh, shouldn't you loyalty be to your child first before you're loyal to a school or team? Okay. So that's yeah, it. yes or no. Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah. You got. You got. Yeah. The my loyalty to my son matters more to me than anything. All right. Okay. But he's my son. So if he's going to a school, he's not moving because of anything, especially if it's if it's something that is valuable. He's trying to move because of just playing football. Because his life is going to be more than football. Okay. All right. So and to that point, when we talk about kids transferring in and out of schools. In co- and excuse me, in high school, this sort of things happen in college. So shouldn't a kid go ahead and get ready for that to compete for his position? No, because he may not get a chance to go to college. Okay. So I mean, <laughs> some of these kids are transferring and they don't, they won't get a chance to play in college. So why? What are you doing? It, and college is not high school. 
And what if you got something, you know, jump in anytime, man. I, I seen this thing yesterday about, like, Deion Sanders. He recruited, he recruited. I mean, you, we talking about millions and millions and millions, probably with the B, billions of dollars that universities bring in. It's, and we can't compare That's that not the same. to a high school. No, it is not your the community same. and this. And like, yo, your friends. and all. Once hey. you go to college, you're 18 years old. You're damn near grown, man. And but, let me be clear. I'm, this is not my questions. I'm no, we with you. Questions. But I, I think yeah. you're, you're grown at that age. But we talking about a 14-year-old or 13-year-old leaving right. middle school and, right. and being recruited to go to a community that he never seen or she never seen before. We cannot compare the two from college and it's high school. It's not the to same. Me. Yeah, I don't think okay. that's the same. All right. So winning versus discipline, which one is more important? <laughs> that's a good question. Are these, are, are, them Hollis questions. Man. Yeah, these, 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 like these are the people's that's easy questions. For, that, that's easy for me, though. Discipline will get you to win. If you're disciplined, you can win. And 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 I'm not talking about a game. I'm talking yeah. about in life. Mm-hmm. I, there's nothing about well, you. No, let's let's keep it in context of just football. Okay, football. Forget yeah. So for me, the discipline in which I had made me the player that I ended up being. Because if I did not have that discipline, mm-hmm. I was gonna have no success. Yeah. I was too small. I was too slow. I was too skinny. I was just all of that. Mm -hmm. So the discipline of getting, doing the things that I had to do is the most critical piece. See, I I would, I'm with you on that, but I would also say you have to win. And I'm just talking about just as a football coach, your job as a football coach here. For Are we coach. talking as a coach? I'm just talking about as a coach. I'm not talking oh, about you didn't, life. The question, you didn't say that well, as a coach. I'm as, saying as football. As, as, yeah, as, as, as a football coach. or football as a coach. See, just, when you just say me, coach, I, just, look, I see me as a player. No, no, just a, just a coach. Just football coach. Oh, so looking at you as a player from a coach's perspective. No, not looking at me from just I, you as a coach. As I, want, as, I, I, want, I want discipline. So, okay. And I'm I want saying, discipline. And I'm, I'm saying you need to win. And uh, I think you, you again, to your point, you have to have, to in order to win, you have to have the discipline. But I think you also have to, cre- to build a to, cr- to create the structure to win, Yeah, it demands discipline. Yeah, but I'm saying, what I'm saying is that I think if you're too far on either corner, I think you're going to be off the mark. So if you're too far about the discipline, of course you you're going to be off the mark. If you're too new, far about the winning, you're going to be off the mark. Because you buy into the, the newer kind of So I think you, but what, what I'm saying, though, is that you have to win. In order, for example, if we won a state, you would still be a state and you would reap the benefits of all the resources that came into the program that we didn't have that could help you out even more. So I'm saying in, in order to be around, in order to even be a mentor to some of these kids, you got to have you got to create a winning culture. I think you have to win in order to oh, even I, yeah, give that I, but, life discipline. But when it's not coming. Women's not coming if you don't if your program is not disciplined. No, no, I understand that. What I, I guess what the point I'm speaking on, I don't think you could be too far in either corner. You can't be too far where it's just about the discipline. You can't be too far where it's just about the winning. I, or nothing's gonna get I never seen a disciplined coach lose. There you go. <laughs> That's you a valid point. Right there. Valid point. Summed it up. <laughs> All right. Um, far as speaking on your specific position, because uh, you're basically the athletic director of South Char- the seat of South Charleston. Why are the youth particularly football numbers so low? One is because of the safety issue. A lot of parents have gone to soccer instead of football. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, is like we did the same thing at one point to where we started having kids being able to play out of area and that kind of stuff. So the the Mm -hmm. better kids started going. And then, so the team started, some of the teams started losing. And so when the team started losing, Kids don't want to play. Yeah, you know, especially young kids. You know, you're talking about you know the the, the beginning of youth football is is five years old. Mm-hmm. You know, that's way too. You that's way that's too young. young. That's yeah, that's I think it's too young. young. It should you, be you're, seven. Putting the, you're putting equipment on it. Five years. Yes, old? they're crazy. full gear. That's crazy. It should be seven. You should play flag flag. Five, yeah, man. I'm with that. We've right. talked about that. So let me ask you this. Um, we'll ask a couple more specifics. It's your job. Um, travel sports. It helps to develop develop players. True or false? <sighs> travel talk, football tra- particularly. I, travel football. Travel football particularly. Travel football is the the epitome of abuse to young athletes. Are you on the record with that? I am definitely on the record. <laughs> Whoa. I've abuse? lost way too many friends because wow. of concussions. Yeah. Head injuries. 
The kids, younger the kids are and playing, there is a reason why you play it one game a week in football. Yeah. And you practice one full week during the season or once the season gets started, you have a, maybe one or two days that you are have physical. have all the protocols. Then well. you all of a sudden you start going to helmets and shoulder pads and you're yeah. not doing the physicality because – Football, the head part of it, you don't have to get dizzy. You don't have to do anything. Your head can hit the ground. Somebody's knee can hit your head. Any of those kind of things. Football is meant to be once a week. And for everybody who thinks travel football is the best thing, the problem is, unfortunately, the results of that, not for everybody, but the results of that shows up way later. See, I, I, my my thinking of travel football is changing. I think it's actually a good thing. Again, I don't think it's necessarily good in the way it's being implemented. I don't believe in playing five and six games in a weekend. You know, I think yeah. that's crazy. But I think that it is good, and we could implement that somehow into what we already do, just playing one game a week. Because if we're saying – we are not as a Charleston organization or the Canal Valley. If we're not, if we're going to have five teams in our league and nobody else is going to join in. We can't play. We can't have any sustainable success with any other teams outside this area. Then I think we have to do something where we're going to have to be able to compete against other organizations from outside this region. But the problem with that is, and I agree with you, the problem with it is, unfortunately, is nobody, you know, there's no tournaments that are not. Like a Friday, Six Saturday, games, yeah. Sunday kind right. of no, thing. I don't mean tournaments. You know, I mean just like like I said. But I, I, I see like yeah. an inside league or something. Just or like a travel just, team. Just, just how we play. And like if you can play, play once a week. Or if you play once Blue a week. Whoever. If you play once a week, I don't care what where you go, who you mm-hmm. bring into it. I'm fine with that. Okay. But I'm just saying that travel football, if I if 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 I could if I could get one parent to say, okay, I I'm gonna stop doing this with my child. Mm-hmm. I'm happy because I'm just telling you the contact inside of that helmet to the ground, to a knee, to, to one-on-ones, all of that kind of stuff. You won't see the effects until it's too late. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you on that. All right. Um, we'll ask a couple more. Um, why, why do, why do you think that West Virginia sports um, are, why are we behind? Cause some people would, Say, we're not behind. We have skill set that's just not being developed. Because when kids get on a team that's winning, they don't do any more work. They don't put in the work. I, I have always tried to make the case that I feel like Ryan Switzer, guys like me, guys like that, who nobody thought, nobody thought, nobody gave them a chance. But the work ethic that we put in. Yeah. What happens to us as, as as parents, we see our kids today, we see them playing basketball, we see them playing football, running track, whatever the, whatever it is, and they're, they're as good as anybody. Yeah, we may take them to a trainer to, to do a little bit of extra work with them. That's fine. But at some point, they have to be the ones. They have to buy in. Yeah. They have to be the ones to say, like, I'm going to, I'm going to work. Yeah. I'm going to put in time. I need this. I need that. And I would say to that point, I'm glad you mentioned it. I would say a lot of us now that we don't play, we're not multiple sport athletes. No, you play play football, basketball. I remember in God rest his soul, my man, Levi Phillips. I remember in high school, I quit the basketball team. He rode up to me on a bike (laughs) and he begged me not to quit. He's like, Dallas, don't you do it. And it's probably the, and I didn't listen to him. It was the worst mistake I ever made because it killed my athleticism. I would have been a much better athlete had I played basketball and yep. ran track in high school. I was, so, I was, I did and I, nothing. When you, you, like guys, you mentioned Switz, uh, Alexander Moss, you, uh, uh, Darian Scott, John Pennington, all were multiple sport athletes. Oh, on a Facebook page on yours, Hollis, uh, yeah. Will King said, uh, "We are behind because of the rules. Some states train year round with spring football, and you in high school you can't start." Training or be with you, you can't even practice with them in but some they, part. They of do more like now, but here's you the got, crazy got, thing: got they the do summer. more now than we did before. They can do more now than we did before. So that might be the reason why we're behind. I don't know. I, I think I think it's just because if kids play multiple sports, because if you're talking about, because now what you're talking about is specializing mm-hmm. in one sport. Man, that's tough. You yeah. better be a, you better be really freaking good in that sport and get everything out of that sport. If 
to Hollis's point, which I always hate to say, <laughs> multiple, <laughs> coach. multiple, I, multiple, I'm making some good points. Multiple, and I don't get listened to much. Multiple though. sports, <laughs> multiple sports. It's the key. Matters. The key. It matters, man. And and you don't need to stay in one sport all year yeah. long because that's a burnout for the kid. And uh, to, and Pastor Watts had a quick. And Pastor Watts, you you had a bro. You, you don't wrote me a sermon. I can't read all this. But basically, what he <laughs> said was. Um, how many do we know how many kids are I think this is probably the point to his question. Do we know how many kids are currently playing D one, D two, playing college sports currently? Is there some sort of system that keeps track of that? Um I'm sure that's probably something we could look at, but I I'll I'll make the case it I, I would make the case that it is very, very, very few. Cause I know I talk to Coach Pennington all the time and one of the things he said he has he has a hell of a time in keeping kids from the Valley on that team. And that's with all the great facilities and everything. He cannot keep Kanawha Valley t- kids on the, Kanawha well, Valley be, be, Because what, what has happened is we have not given them, I went down to Marshall the week of the game last week, watched them practice. Dude, you talk about my practices, Huff, Coach Huff, that there's no stopping. Mm-hmm. Like it's a whistle going to the next thing, whistle going to the next thing, whistle going to the next thing. Boom, practice is over. And these kids are not prepared for that. Cause because we wanna we wanna we wanna baby five them all the way through and then pass them on to that college. And all of a sudden that college is like, man, you don't get no breaks. Right. You know, and all of a sudden they like they can't they, they, they won't stay. It is not because we don't have the talent. We don't prepare them for it. Mm. We're not properly preparing them for it. And Carrie, to that point, Carrie Martin on Facebook well, said, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. He said, we're behind because the leader's in charge. Kids only know what they're being taught, and nobody's willing to seek the information and giving in order to put the kids in the best situations to set themselves up for their futures or being a student athlete on a college level. And I try to go. That's what I'm saying. Work. You've been there, Carl. You've been at the top of the top. Are you a Pro Bowl in the NFL? How can people learn from you? Like, yo, this is what they don't, you have to do. They're not interested in learning from me. That's if they're smart, they you will know, be. They're not interested in me. Why? Why I, do you think that? Call it what you will. I don't know. I just simply think that when you get a good player, a great player, or no, no, let's go back. When you get a good player, when you look at that player, the very first thing that you should be thinking is where's his where's his top shelf? How do I get him to his top shelf? Mm-hmm. At, you're speaking as the coach? As a coach. Uh-huh. So I bring Hollis in. I'm looking at him at this. Then I've got to assess him by saying, okay, What's his top end? And if his top end is, I, if I think his top end is like, whew, okay, he can be special. Now I'm in his face every day because I need him to understand we're going to work. Mm-hmm. If he takes that, me at him and say, well, you know what, I'm, t- I'm tired of him yelling and screaming at me. I'm quitting. Sonny Randall cuss me out, man, like day after day. But do you think and I and I don't think I don't think these kids are prepared to get pushed in the manner in which it takes unless you just have that dog in you that you're getting up. I even had that dog. But Sonny cussed me every day. Practice <laughs> but, but, game. Okay. Everything. To that point, and this kind of plays off a question I had. When we talk about that culture, do you think like and again understanding that the head coach defines the culture? But also the head coach has to be in tune with what's going on culturally now. For example, like Deion Sanders, it seems like he's in tune culturally what's going on now. So he's able to, like you said, not only uh, coach kids up in a manner that may be a little old school, but he's also able to attract those kids. Deion, Deion's situation is just like Deion's situation on the field. <laughs> Deion is just a different kind of brother. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody, okay, there, gotcha. there's nobody, nobody's topping that. Mm-hmm. You know, Dion didn't just have skill and was quick. You, you know, because when you start to try to define Dion as a player, you could say, well, he was fast, he was quick, he was this, he was that. There was nothing he wasn't. 
He was Dion. <laughs> you know, there was, yeah, there was nothing he wasn't. You know, and he was cocky. He was arrogant. He was sure that he could shut you down. Come, mm-hmm. come over here. He's but, but, taken that. What he's done is he's taken that and he's put it into kids who have that ability yeah. to be that kind of guy. Because I think he brought in what fifty or forty-eight or something. I thought it was like seven. I thought he brought in basically the whole. Okay, well, seven. however many he brought in, <laughs> all of those kids, he knows. He can pump that into them, but I think what I guess what I'm saying is that again, that's him on the on the field. He's a absolutely. He's a, to me, Dion's the greatest athlete ever to lace anything up. That's just my personal. Dion's opinion. probably going but, to end up being the best player to ever be a coach. But how does that get transformed? Because we don't see that very often. That's not the norm. Is that a player of that caliber can now go to coach and be that coach the same way he was as a player? So I'm saying it's like I think he's done a good job of just tapping into the to the coach. Go ahead, Wood. I, I think somebody just answered it on Facebook. Um, he's disciplined. He was disciplined when yeah. he played. Mm. And if you watch, I watched all the behind the scenes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 He yeah. make sure them kids. He said, if wear if the right it, stuff. Yeah, all that. Be on so time. When you start, discipline. Like, yeah. So when you start talking about the lack of discipline. That's not Dion. I ain't say that. Well, no, no, that. but I'm just saying, you know, you got to kind of be a little bit different. Or some of the people like, yeah. like, well, that's old school. Go back and watch Dion. But I say and then, this, and, though, then, and then now it's, what uh, it's old school. He, too, but it, he bringing in the young Dolphs, the Gillian Wallow. Yeah, he yes. got the rappers up, or he got the the nice gear Absolutely. and all that. Because so it's he can old do school that. in one sense. But he, that's what but I meant. It's old school he, in one sense. He can but he do fresh that. In the, in, but but see, you can't. His coaching is old school. Yeah. His coaching is old school. Mm-hmm. So either old school is in or it's out. I think you gotta you gotta add to the old school. And that's another question we had. And again, coach, this ain't my question. I, 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 I you ain't got a ain't my question. You ain't got a problem right. me. You ain't got a problem me. Right. I can handle the question. Okay, okay. This ain't my question. So, and I, we're right on this. Is your philosophy outdated? Well, if it is, I'm out of football. I don't coach. But mine is discipline. Mm-hmm. Mine is discipline, but and to the question, to 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 the question, I would po- I would pose back to the to the to that question. What is my style? Do you know my style, or are no, you just asking? Is my philosophy philosophy, or, about philosophy football, of coaching, football? just the whole thing? Which you've you've said it a, a bunch on this show. Yeah, but I would ask the question like, what is yours? No, you can't do you that. You can't coach. answer a question. I could. Yeah, you I, can't could. Do that, coach. I mean, I could. You said you can't take you a question. Could. No, I'm no, I'm so, no. So the reason why I say no, that, if, no, I'm why the reason why I say that is because <clears throat> if 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 that if this person is a coach, yeah, or or wanting to be a coach, the reality of it is you have to be your coach. You you know what I'm saying? You got it. You, you your structure, your your process has to be yours. What I bring to coaching, which I am I, again, I am not claiming to be anything other than a a disciplinarian that is about conditioning. Okay, That's, so you never that, wanted to be the head coach, pretty much. I I never I never that my dream was never to coach. I didn't. That was not like oh, this is what I want to go into. Uh-huh. I got asked and I accepted into two places that I respected. Right, and so. It is what it is. And that leads me to my final question, at least for questions that I have prepared okay. outside the one that's on the live. Um, he said the 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 West Virginia, the transfer portal isn't the problem. It's that coaches are given jobs and not earning jobs. Is that okay? Well, my question my my answer. My you, answer you can't say question. Yeah, yeah, my 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 my, my answer to that is when you look at coaching and you look at hires, where hires are, right? Yeah. People get hired regardless of what the record is. You know, you get hired because of maybe your background, mm-hmm. what it comes from. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times, a lot of times I think people don't understand necessarily what what the what what the requirements are to um coaching you know 
Because it's it's different in different situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, the smaller the situation, the more, you know, they're looking for somebody who has some kind of background. See, to me, that's what makes Dion such a great coach because Dion coached from youth all the way to college. He has all that coaching experience. He coached youth, middle school, high school, college. So he he's 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 got this natural maturation that he understands the kids because he's been with these kids since they so, was babies. So why nobody hired him before Jackson State? I don't think he wanted to. Yeah, one hundred percent he did. No, well, I, don't, I, don't I think, think he, he could have had an. He, there should have been an opportunity to. for him in that initial step. You no, know, he wanted to coach, bro. Go watch it. It's the first. It's he the first said time. nobody gave me a job. He's like Jackson State. Right. Well, I'm win. saying, but it, I think it's good that it happened that way. Oh, everything. Because, oh, yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah. You, basically, you coach from you fleek all the way to a, a smaller college. Jackson State ain't necessarily small, but a smaller college. Now you had a big college, and the next day going to be a bigger college. So I think basically he got to learn oh, along what the said. way. Okay, I got That's you, what I'm I saying. You, he just ain't jump. I think had he just jumped off the porch, going from playing to retiring to now I'm going to coach. I think that's a harder step because you don't get that match. So you don't get to learn. Should have coached. In, I'm not in saying what he should have did. That's his. Or, that's his step. I'm just saying. I think when you talk about his ability to attract players, you talk about his ability to X's and O's. When you talk about the big win that he had on Saturday, I think that's the result of all that effort and time he put into learning how to coach this game and not just being just going off his previous experience. Yeah, and 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 again, a there's, a, there's a there's a there's a lot there's a lot of things that there's a lot of things that you know you can bring to you can bring to a program, and and I'll say this, you know, when you start talking about you know the putting in the work, okay. When I got to West Virginia State, there was no weight room, okay. Yeah, that first weight room. <laughs> Was mine, okay. I, I I made that happen. It's a rough taste. <laughs> okay, I made that happen. Yeah. Okay, uniforms. I got that taken care of. Yeah. Having fun raising money, traveling traveling on the bus, a a, a true bus. That I made that happen. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't get you wins. But that changes the ultimately that changes the culture and the expectation for the kids. They're appreciating to mm-hmm. to have a player come in, a NFL player should be a Hall of Fame player. Should be to, a Hall of Fame to to come to practice. That that's important. That mm-hmm. that drives guys. I mean, the the players that I've coached to this day will talk about Sterling Sharp yeah. being at practice. I remember that man. You know what I'm saying? And the things that he would say. Don't walk between. Don't walk on my field. Don't walk between these lines. Yeah. He 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 would preach it. For me, my success at West Virginia State was individually based on the team athletes. Yeah. It didn't show on the scoreboard, so, but then I'm the one who got the first full scholarships. Because it was actually wasn't full. We had to you had to pay fees, yeah. but I had tuition fees waivers, room waivers, and and money. For school, only thing we didn't have covered was the fees, but we would cover that. We started with twenty five thousand dollars as a complete budget. So that's crazy. So the energy in which I put in there, and the individuals that you know, again, Sterling Sharp buys our home and home and away uniforms. And put, so, the, and put so, the SS on them. No, <laughs> yeah, so that, that's relationships. I get it. Yes. Do if, as do you think you should have been in an administrating role? Or because as a head coach, you got to win. Was you better as the head coach, or you might have been better as the administrator role, like the uh, I would have been better. Of I would have been better in just administratively, like period. being the operation yeah, of yeah. football, being the AD. Yeah, not, no, not, not even AD. Because that's over all sports. Yeah, okay, I don't. Gotcha, I, yeah, gotcha. I don't. That that's too much. That's, yeah, that's too much yeah, for yeah, me. That's over all okay. sport. You know, but I, but my. And I'm talking about at state and at South Charleston, at both jobs that you was head coach. Do you think? The head coaching was the right position, or they could have put you in a better administrating role to look over football. Well, part of part, I think what I think what, and I'll I'll, I'll I'll give Mr. Casto the credit for this, and and Andrew, um, I think they had gotten themselves in a situation that was that, that lacked discipline, and if anybody knows me, 
discipline and conditioning and those types of things are what I do. So that brought me to West Virginia State. I didn't go to West Virginia State um, thinking that I was going to be a great coach or, 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 or any of that. Um, but when you stop, if you, if you just try to stop at the wins and losses, if you try to stop at, you know, the record, <clears throat> I think you, you got you to gotta go a little bit further because there's very few players, very, very few players who that I touched who don't have some respect for me and me respect for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We did the, the, the things that we accomplished – you know, and, and and if coaches get credit for this, you know, because they always talk about it, my players, one of the things they knew, they had to go to class. And they and by going to class, at least gives you a chance to get a degree. Mm-hmm. Most of my guys got a college degree. You can count wins and losses all you want. My relationship with most of my guys is all that matters to me. Right on. And to me, that's just a whole nother network of people that I have to be connected to that matters to me. And again, I'll say coaching, coaching is a resume thing. Okay. It, it's a resume thing and it's a French, you know, there, there, there's definitely an opportunity because if you know people, knowing people is a critical piece. 100%. And, and I think the other piece of, I think what you have to underdo, what you have to do is you have to look, look, Look and see what qualifies you. Unfortunately or fortunately, my resume qualifies me, whether I can do it or not, you know, and I'm not claiming I can. But my resume, when you if the question comes up to say, you know, why did he get the job? Oh, he knows Bryce Castro. He knows Andrew. He knows That's what they're saying. Yeah, they yeah, said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My question to that would be, what is your resume versus my resume? Why would they pick you? Have you ever been a head coach? And the reality is this, for anybody listening, this is a relationship business. It is. And anything you do, whether it's football, whether you have a, a it, law absolutely. firm, anything, whatever point of business that you're in, if you got the better, the person with the better relationships is going to get win. the spot. Yeah, yeah. And, point and, and with that, with that yeah. what, matters, what matters to that is what you never know is what people are watching and what people hear. Mm-hmm. And because they hear something or they watch your actions, they make a decision, a conscious decision to say, I don't even care what your resume is. Yeah. I'm not putting you in that position because I don't think that you you handled this particular situation. And let me ask you this, just and this is going back to your current position. Um, do you think high school coaches should be in charge or quasi in charge over the middle school and youth program or at least have a say or be involved? I think if you if you if you say yes, and I was a middle school coach or a youth football coach, you know, youth football coach is a little different. Yeah. Because they would mm-hmm. listen to the middle school. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if the middle school will listen to the high school in all cases. Yeah. You know, but if you could build that structure, if that structure could happen, I think it would be very beneficial. Yeah. And and just quickly, you you um you called the Marshall game this weekend. So what are your thoughts on the on the Thunder and Herd? They, man, they play. They play when they're playing in the right tempo. You mm-hmm. know, the first half of that game, they you know tempo was a little bit off, and they were they they were they weren't playing well. Didn't look all that good. Still hung around though. Mm-hmm. Second half, they they found that tempo, offense and defense, and man, and they're just moving. I mean, they're just moving. Yeah. They're on the ball. They're on the ball, snapping the ball, and and ultimately won the won the football game. I thought it was a very good game, and. and how do you think they're going to be looking for the rest of the season? I think they'll. I think they'll do. I think they'll do well. I really do. I think the conference is is aligned for them. I think to 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 do very well, and I would recommend. I would recommend every player, every local player that could get a chance to go to a college game, or college, and better yet, a college practice. Mm. You know, and anybody who's a high school coach who wants to be, you know. Uh, a head coach or has a future of being a head coach, go watch it. Yeah. How go. do they do it though? You got to, how, if I'm a coach or a player, how do I, I can't just walk on at Marshall and go. You, sit. you can, you can come to it. You come to You can watch a practice game. You, you can you go can. just walk in the stadium. Some, and well, sometimes when they have an open practice, okay. But yeah, generally what, have open and closed. Yeah. Cause they'll have open and closed yeah. practices because what you'll see mm-hmm. 
is not is not loving on kids. Yeah, but I think you can like you can get that same thing going to UC. Yes, you going can. To state, yes, you can. You, know, you can get that same. Yes, vibe. you can. As far as WVU, um, I watched their game again. I ain't call it, but I watched the game uh, this past weekend. Defensively, they look great. They got a. I ain't gonna say great. But they look good. They got a great running game. CJ Donaldson is gonna be. I think he can, he has a chance to be a really really good running back. They cannot throw the ball downfield. And I think if you're playing in the Big 12, you can't throw the ball yeah, downfield, you're you got done. problems. Uh, the quarterback is very quick. He's shifty. He can run the ball. Again, I don't know if it's a result of just his lack of or it's just the scheme that they're in. But they had a they had real, real trouble throwing the ball downfield. So they couldn't get them yards and bunches and chunks. So ultimately, that's what's going to that's what cost them the game at Penn State. So they got to develop that. If they can do that, then I think they'll be right. But if they can, it's going to be a long season. All right. Well, anybody got anything? Yeah. Hey, congratulations on your last show, man. It, it, it did some numbers, numbers, man. Congratulations and shout out to you, brother. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate your time today. And uh, hopefully you'll be back uh, next week. We'll talk to you later. Peace. The opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of WVRC Media, its management, employees, or sponsors. Contact Carl Lee on email. Let's talk Carl Lee at gmail.com or text 409-422-7539.